welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to set up and use the annular rain geometry with the DHRRH accessory. The relative humidity accessory on the DHR rheometer is a powerful tool which allows users to monitor the rheological property change of a material under both controlled temperature and humidity. This humidity chamber is used in combination with a series of geometries for testing varieties of different type of samples from low viscosity liquid to solid. Among them, the annular ring geometry is specifically designed for testing the bulk properties of a liquid or a soft solid material, such as a gel or paste. This ring design allows humid air to easily diffuse from both sides of the sample. Please follow the DHRRH Getting Started Guide Manual and the RH Accessory Setup Tech Tip to properly install the humidity generator and humidity chamber. First, insert the 40 mm or 50 mm disposable plate to the bottom geometry stage. Tighten the screws using the Allen key. Insert the inner trim ring and make sure it is raised up and sit on the rack of the annular ring. Then, load the annular ring to the upper shaft. Remove the front face of the humidity chamber. Press the release button on the instrument keypad until you see a continuous green light. Insert the bottom geometry stage. When the green light is turned off, the bottom geometry stage should be locked in position. Attach the upper geometry to the draw rod. Then install the front face of the humidity chamber. From TRIO's software, open the annular ring geometry file. If this geometry file has not been previously created, then select Add New Geometry. Under the Geometry list, choose Annular Rain and Plate. Leave all of these parameters as the default values. Select Humidity Chamber as the environmental system. Follow the instructions to finish creating this geometry file. Then, TRIOS will automatically lead you to perform the geometry calibration. The required geometry calibration includes two steps, inertia and friction. The gap temperature compensation and rotational mapping calibrations are optional. Under inertia calibration, click on Calibrate to begin. This calibration takes about 30 seconds. After it is finished, click on Accept. Then, move on to the friction calibration. The friction calibration also takes about 30 seconds to complete. The residual friction value is usually between 0.2 to 0.3. After it is finished, click on Accept. Then, close this calibration page. The next step is to preconditioning the chamber and geometry. Under TRIO's Control Panel and Environment, set up the initial measurement temperature and humidity. After the chamber is fully equilibrated, zero the geometry gap. Open the front face of the humidity chamber. Lower the upper geometry until it reaches to a gap between 2 to 3 mm. Release the inner trim ring until it is sitting on the bottom plate. Load your sample to the annular ring. If necessary, loose the bottom plate so that it can free rotate during sample loading. After loading, raise the inner trim ring and let it rest on the rack again. Properly lower the upper geometry until the sample is fully filled between the ring and the bottom plate. Trim the excess amount of the sample if necessary. Then, close the chamber and start the test immediately. To monitor sample drying or curing under a certain humidity, 
One typical test procedure is a dynamic time sweep under a controlled temperature and humidity. The user can monitor the change of sample moduli and viscosity as a function of time. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to set up and use the annular rain geometry with the DHRRH accessory. Please stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.